President Biden and the Biden administration have presided over the worst foreign policy catastrophe in a generation. Americans across the nation are horrified. Our servicemen and women, our active duty military are angry, they're disillusioned, and they're frustrated. Our enemies across the globe are emboldened, which makes the world more dangerous today for America and our allies are dispirited. Ever since the disaster began unfolding in Afghanistan, we've seen the Biden administration making political excuses. We've seen Democrats on this committee explaining at great length how everything that happened in Afghanistan is Trump's fault. It's all Trump's fault. Mr. Secretary, Joe Biden is the President of the United States. Kamala Harris is the Vice President of the United States. You are the United States Secretary of State. Just like Jimmy Carter owns the disaster of the Iran hostage crisis, you own this. There were four decisions this administration made that I think were utterly indefensible. Number one, abandoning the Bagram airfield, giving it to the Taliban. That is a decision that a hundred years from now will be studied at war colleges as a colossal strategic mistake, giving up two secure airfields, necessitating an evacuation from a dense urban environment, a commercial airport, which led tragically to the suicide bombings and murders that killed 13 American servicemen and women. Had we been evacuating from Bagram with a secure perimeter, the odds are, are quite high. That attack either wouldn't have happened, or if it had happened, it would have been far less severe in its consequences. Secondly, the Biden administration giving the Taliban a list of Americans and of Afghans we wanted out. Third, the decision to leave Americans behind. Hundreds of Americans, perhaps more, perhaps thousands, thousands of green card holders, tens of thousands of Afghans who assisted the U.S. military. The Biden administration abandoned them and left them behind. And fourth, leaving billions of dollars of American military equipment that the Taliban will now use to threaten our lives. Earlier in this hearing, you, you said about that equipment, quote, none of it poses a strategic threat to us or their neighbors. That does not pass the laugh test. When you're looking at the Taliban potentially having 64,000 machine guns, 33 Black Hawk helicopters, 16,000 night vision goggles, we will see American blood spilled because of these colossal mistakes. They're really showing themselves to do really well. Come on, man.